Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I didn't expect to be back here as soon as this. Um, I think I only filmed my last video a couple of weeks ago maybe. Um, but I know in that video I did say that the reason I hadn't filmed any videos is because I hadn't fallen in love with any bags recently. Um, well I shouldn't have said that because um, that was tempting fate too much for me and um, yeah less than a couple of weeks later I am back with not one but two bags to unbox. I've just turned the light down a little bit because it was actually burning the back of my retinas out um, and I'd quite like to be able to maintain my eyesight um, throughout this video and um, so yeah I do you know what right I got up this morning with the best intentions of getting up set my alarm to get up do my makeup do my hair wear something nice make myself feel good so I could sit down and do this video um also I was going to split this video up into two unboxings because I was like I can do one like earlier in the day and then if I've got time I can do the second one in the afternoon um yeah that didn't happen at all um I don't know what's wrong with me but I was still not ready by three-ish half two three I um, sat down to do my makeup I had literally just put my lipstick on and was a getting my camera out to start filming and then my mum turned up so I had to talk to her for a while sorry mum I know you'll be watching this but my god did I nearly tear my hair out um and then it's my nan's birthday today so I'd completely forgotten to call her and sing happy birthday and my life wouldn't be worth living if I forgot so I had to ring her and do that then I had to feed my dogs, sort the dogs out. Kids came back from school, had to check in with them. And now it is almost six o'clock. I am just sitting down to film this video. Like, oh my God, I need a break. <laughs> so anyway, at least this is a happy video to be filming. I should be a little bit more chipper, but I think I've just like stressed because I knew I had to get this video done and like I wanted to do it and time just got away with me so um yeah just obviously the daylight has gone I've got my little led lights um around the ceiling that are on and I've got my ring light on so hopefully this light is okay um but I have as I said two bags to unbox technically uh, I don't know whether I'm going to do both in this video I think so because I'm itching to see them both but what had happened was, after that video that I made in the last one, I got to thinking about, oh, is there any bags that I actually like? Um, and this is the bag that I've been using at the moment, my YSL Lulu bag. Um, I've had this bag, I think, three years now, and it's still my favourite bag. Um, I think it still looks absolutely amazing. I love this I use it all the time and it is I literally can't say a bad word about it I love it we are practically Facebook official like seriously but um yeah I was looking looking at this bag and I was like I'm sure they bought out another bag that looked like that but they were slightly different the YSL puffer bags and then I started looking and then once I started looking that was it I was I was done for so I put a little um post up on the Facebook groups that I'm in like the sales pages for the bag groups um saying that it, uh, I was interested or in search of um a YSL puffer bag um wasn't really worried about the size um I just put my budget which was around a thousand pound um and not really any colour preference, I was quite open to size, colour, whatever. Um, and I had one lady that got back to me saying that she had a small black puffer um, that she was selling for, I think it was just over a thousand pounds. Um, but she's actually got an online uh, web page called loved lovedtogo.com. Um, and she said, here's the link to the item if you want to go and have a look at it. I had a look at it but while I was 
like chatting with her I was also getting dinner ready and I was cutting up onions and stuff and I'm trying to type to her and cut onions at the same time and I was like hold on give me like give me 10 minutes I just need to finish what I'm doing so I can go and look at the pictures properly in the meantime someone else had seen my post on Facebook and had seen that she'd responded to me and sent a link and then that lady went and swiped the bag out from under my feet which was absolutely infuriating because I was literally writing back to Lucy the lady that was selling it saying yes please I'll take the bag and then she said to me oh my god Regan I'm so sorry someone's just bought the bag and I was like you've got to be fucking joking I swear to god I was that upset slash angry that I nearly cried and then I blamed the onions that I was cutting but I was really really I was like I can't believe that just happened but because she is a seller that buys and sells bags it's her business I did say to her could you keep me in mind if you get any more in and I did not think that another one would come in so quickly but she contacted me two days later saying that she had a medium size which was the next size up than the one I'd been looking at that had come in or was coming in I think she was about to go and pick it up or have it delivered um that was the same age as the one that I'd been looking at and that she would let me have it for around about the same price as the one that she'd had I think it was about 100 pound more okay. Um, and I said to her, yes, I'd be interested to see it, um, like if you could send me some pictures. Um, and then after a lot of to and fro um, I had the bag here with me now. So, right, okay, hang on. What I failed to mention there was that I wasn't sure if I wanted the medium or the small, so I've ordered a small bag as well so I can compare the two and work out which one I want to keep or if I want to keep both so anyway as I said this came from lovedtogo.com and I cannot praise the customer service that I received enough Lucy the lady that owns runs this company was the most patient sweet uh, helpful just amazing lady to deal with and I honestly could not recommend her business highly enough everything looks so like polished and perfect on her website all of her bags um she has I think it's a four tier system from like um vintage sorry my daughter is singing in her room so vintage good very good and excellent or as new um this bag is very good uh, condition and this bag is the YSL medium puffer I think these retail full price retail at £2,040 or some, somewhere around there let me stop talking and get this box open so I have my handy dandy scissors here So I haven't even sneaked to look at this yet. And I've I got this bag um, two days ago. So I've been itching to open it. But I was waiting for the small one to come so I could open them together. Or at least in the same day. Because I really rarely wear makeup. And I was like, if I'm going to put makeup on, I'm filming more than one video. So let's have a look. Certainly tucked in the box well. Oh, it's one of those Selfridges boxes that's got the tape on the inside. Hold on. Oh, did it. Okay, so this is not a Selfridges purchase, but it is in their box. Uh, we have the tissue paper there. It's actually packaged really nicely. And then it's all concertina. We have um, 
leaflet for their website there. So I think she buys and sells items as well. Um, then I have just a, like a thank you note there and the details of the sale there. And it also comes with this note here that says, a security tag is attached to your bag. Most of our pre-love items belong to someone else and are on consignment. Oh, belong to someone else and are on consignment. So this protects both the seller and the buyer. Please note that if they are removed, you will not be able to return the item. Um, and that's from Lucy. And then here inside is the actual bag. So wrapped up very nicely with their sticker on there. The Saint Laurent dust bag there to reveal this new, I'd say my, but let me check it over first. This new Saint Laurent Lulu puffer in the medium size with silver hardware. Oh wow. So I've given it a very brief look over and I really can't see any bad marks on it, scratches, anything in particular. And um, there's a couple of very, very faint, not even scratches, just not even indentations. No, there's nothing. There's really nothing. Um, this is my bag, which has been used the crap out of. Um, this is the new one. Look about the same to be fair, um, condition wise. This is so soft, like so soft. I thought the leather on this was going to be the same leather as on this. But whereas um, this bag is, it's a little bit more, I don't want to say durable, it feels firmer. It's like a firmer, thicker leather it feels like. This one is like, you know when you get a really good leather jacket and they're like super duper buttery soft, that's what this feels like. A really, really soft leather jacket. But, um... So this one is pre-owned and this bag is three years old. This is from 2019 and it's in this good condition. Even the corners, they're like pretty much perfect. Um, let's have a look at the inside. So here we have the inside, um, again very similar to my Lulu, but you can see that the leather on the puffer is much more softened, squidgy looking than it is on the Lulu. So I've just taken the wrapping of the little tag thing there, it's just a little red tag that if you remove the bag is yours um but and i did take five minutes while my camera was overheating to check the bag all over um and make sure that it was all right all the outside looks perfect to be honest um and then inside the inside of the flap is really nice can't see any marks on it there it's got the Saint Laurent Paris um, 
logo there in silver and then inside the bag is just one big compartment with some big bubble wrap which I shall have fun popping later um, so it's one big compartment with one zip pocket in the back there and with this bag it actually came with the original receipt so this bag was bought from flannels on the 18th of October 2019 so it is October November, three months two years and three months old um, and the person who bought this paid £1,555 for the bag um, they did have a 10% off forces discount um, so they must be in the forces um, so let me see if I can show this that is the receipt it came with so this bag they paid £1,555 just over two years ago and I've just checked on the website, this bag now retails for £2,030. So it's gone up almost £500. Like, that is insane. Um, but it did also come with, obviously it's dust bag, which I've already shown you. That original receipt. And then it comes with the little envelope as well. And this should have the product information inside. So it comes with the original little price tag there, control card, I think these are just like the little um, leather care booklets and then the product information there confirming this bag was from 2019. So I pulled the inside of the bag out to have a look and that all looks um, pretty spotless as well. Um, the material inside is like a, it's a gross grain, um, quite a thick, almost like a linen type material. Um, but say so this is on the inside of my um, Lulu bag as well and I found it really hard wearing and um, like if you get any dirt on it you can pretty much just wipe it off just stuff that back down in there and this bag can be worn as a shoulder bag like this or as you can with the regular Lulu you can also drop down one of the handles and wear it um, either as a longer shoulder bag crossbody I never do. I always wear these on my shoulder, um, just like that, because they fit so nicely under your arm. One thing I am noticing that is different between these two um, is the handles seem slightly different. On my Lulu, the chain is slightly thinner than it is on the puffer. Um, and this is the leather part on my Lulu compared to a much wider leather part well not wider longer leather part on the um puffer got some details off the ysl website trying to hold this thing without it collapsing in on itself is not the easiest thing but so this is the medium puffer now i paid 1295 pound for this um plus 15 pound shipping um so it's just over two years old but i think that was a really really good deal and um, so i'm very happy with that especially for a bag in this good of a condition um the company that i got it from love to go is uk based um i found her on facebook but i'll leave a link to her website um in the description bar below in case any of you would maybe like to go and have a look what stock she's got she was so sweet like she was sending me um, facebook messenger uh, messages and uh, voice chats as well which was really nice um 
but she was just honestly she, I felt like she couldn't do enough to help me and it it was a little bit of a tricky transaction because the bag wasn't actually on her website she had to like create a listing for me um, because she was very aware that she didn't want anybody else jumping in on the listing again and taking the bag out from under me again um, so she really did help me and accommodate everything that I needed um, and I've got this amazing bag out of it um, it didn't come with a box but it did come with everything else so I'm happy with that this bag measures 35 centimeters across 23 centimeters from top to bottom and the width is 13.5 um, so it's a very roomy bag um, I'm going to do a proper comparison I think um, I'll do a separate video um, comparing these two bags because um, I'd be interested to see how much um, that each bag fits and if it's the same because my Lulu here does have the partition inside um, sorry my dog walking over my bed um, this one doesn't so I'm interested to see if that affects the capacity inside um, and then the strap drop, strap drop on this bag on full length it says on the website that it measures 48 centimeters and then if it's doubled up it measures 28 centimeters and that is how i will be wearing it so i actually think i'm gonna leave this video here because i've been talking for a long time and i think this is long enough for one video and i'm gonna film a separate video to show you the smaller bag um so hopefully that will give you an incentive to hang around um but if you would like to see me open this box as well uh please stick around i'm going to film it straight after this i'm just going to give my camera a break so it cools down properly um and we can maybe have another video after that comparing all three bags that i have so Thank you very much for um, unboxing that with me. I'm very, very excited. It's very, very beautiful and I love it. Um, and hopefully you will join me for the next one. So I'll see you then. Bye.